and we are back here with another reaction video. Um, I was bored last night, and me, I'm into like crime and shit. So like, I was just looking up like people who were sentenced and stuff, and this came up, and it was pretty interesting. Because the fact that they were crying of what they done, it was just ridiculous. So I want you to, we're gonna watch this together, you feel me? So, we're gonna watch this together. Leave, kill, leave a like, subscribe, and comment what you think about this. So we're about to get into it. Look at this goofy ass nigga. Let's just get into it, dog. Fire. Your Honor, just, just execute me, then because I can't get any kind of justice. I'm tired of my head up my rope. Well, it's what can I <laughs> ah, look at this goofy ass nigga. All right, stop. Let me go. In some Five men who cried like babies in court. What? Yeah. What? Look at this goofy ass nigga. <laughs> okay, look, look at what he did. Accused of killing his own mom. What are you crying about? You killed your mom's the one who brought you into the earth, nigga. What are you crying about? Why don't you even kill... Friends and family gathered to remember a mother police say was killed by her own son. Deidre Jefferson, a beloved member of the Aleph ISD school board, was stabbed to death at her home on Friday. Just hours ago, a candlelight vigil was held in her honor, right there in the parking lot of the Aleph administration building in the 4000 block of Cook Road. Police say Deirdre's son, Blake Jefferson, brutally stabbed and killed his mom. Look at this goofy ass nigga. Yo, what are you, what are you crying about? You killed your mom's nigga inside their Aleph home early Thursday morning. Oh, this goofy ass thing. Oh, bro, I, I, I know y'all heard about this. Probably some of y'all haven't, but this nigga killed somebody's baby. And this nigga's trying to get off? Goofy ass nigga. Just, just look at this goofy ass nigga, yo. I really didn't. I really think I did right? I didn't mean her. Dylan Shoemaker walked into a state supreme courtroom pleading his case, telling his victim's mother and the court he's remorseful. Goofy ass nigga, look, look at what you did to you. Look at what, look at what you done. Kill somebody's baby. What he did, Shoemaker was sentenced Friday for beating 23-month-old Austin Smith last March. Before the sentence was handed down, Shoemaker and his defense attorney fought for the minimum sentence. 15 years to life. I can't take back what was done. I wish I could. I would give my life for Austin. Shut the fuck up. Let's go. I loved him a lot. Austin Smith was completely defenseless. It's a, it's a, it's a given. But there were other dynamics at work there, including my client's inability to either control his anger or frustration, and his inexperience in babysitting. Based on his short life now. So what are you babysitting for? Who let you babysit? If you knew you couldn't babysit, I don't know what the fuck you was doing. Why am I so close? I don't care, I'm gonna move back. Let's go back. Is to say he won't do this again. Well, we don't know that. I think it's completely unlikely. It was a situational, circumstantial thing. In Judge M. William Bowler's last words to Shoemaker, he told the now 17-year-old that in his short life, he's caused so much despair to so many people. Bowler said he listened intently to Shoemaker's testimony during trial and called him a manipulator who minimizes his actions. The record will show that you admitted on Jul that on July 23rd, 2013, in a phone call to your mother from the holding center, you stated, and I got a quote from the court reporter. I am a 16-year-old blonde. Probably all I have to do is cry in front of the jury, and they're going to feel sorry for me. Do you hear that goofy ass? I wish he was black. They probably gave him the death penalty, I swear. Afterwards, Shoemaker was sentenced to 25 years. Look at this goofy ass nigga. Look, look at this lawyer. Goofy ass nigga. To life behind bars. 
I understand, you know what I did is it's, it's a, a terrible thing, but I wasn't the only one in this situation. For the first time ever, accused cop killer Ashford Thompson breaks down in the courtroom. With tears streaming down his face, he told the judge he's frustrated with the legal process. I still don't have copies of the things that I've asked for. I don't have a copy of anything. I don't even know what the prosecutor's going to use against me. Hold up, this lighting is ass. Hopefully that did something. Let's get into the video. But this is a goofy ass nigga though. All your statements, Mr. Thompson. Thompson is accused of shooting to death Twinsburg police officer Josh McTarian in July 2008. Wednesday afternoon, McTarian's widow Holly sat in court as Thompson told a Summit County judge he's having a tough time in jail. He complained that he's not receiving his mail, that he's constantly being harassed. How can these people just do anything they want? They're they don't even follow their, their command the right way. I've been harassed right on the pile law. I'm trying to hold it in just to get this over with. Thompson has been through a number of lawyers. His current attorney, Kerry O'Brien, told the judge he's planning on filing an additional 40 motions. The judge agreed to give him one more week to prepare. Faced with the death penalty, an exasperated Thompson told the judge he worried about getting a fair trial. Your Honor, just, just execute me then because I can't get any kind of justice. I'm tired. I'm at the end of my rope. What can I do? In Summit County, Alisa Amigo, Fox 8 News. Read this goofy ass shit. Accused of being a serial rapist. Look how this nigga's crying, yo. Look how he's crying. Like he ain't do shit. Mr. call this jury finds you guilty of the various uh, counts. Yo, I heard, yo, I watched the other, like, the full thing. He, I, I heard that he got, like, 300 years in jail or some shit. Because there was, like, 29 counts of him giving, raping niggas and shit. Oh, what? You will be remanded to the custody of the Oklahoma County Sheriff for formal sentencing set January 21st, 2016 at 10 o'clock a.m. Your Honor, that's holding you in five. You have a seat. Pitiful nigga. <laughs> nigga, what did you cry for? Like, what could you possibly cry? You did this to yourself, nigga. I'm has, in fact. Accused of burning his 14-month-old brother alive. As you notice, the wider the person gets, the crazier the thing they've done. I'm not racist. I'm sorry. But that shit is just true. Mental problems is an issue, yo. If you want to learn more about that, I'm going to put a link down below. 47 Productions did a video about it. It's crazy. Watch it. Start firing that room as he is, and to walk away, not trying to escape from that problem. And 
immediately started another fire in the living room. The man who claimed it's an accident that it got out of control. Who you praying to, nigga? It's over. That's an extreme recklessness. And that's intent. That's maliciousness. That's a definition of malice. And as you walk away from the fire that you just lived in another room with a small baby, walk into the new front room, light that fire, and then leave the residence standing outside watching it burn, it becomes too much to go back to. Do you hear this? I'm just gonna play the video. That's malice. And so malice is here in both counts. Because all that murder requires is malice of four fucking more fascination requires to watch that burn, knowing that that child was in there, was going to die, and not calling 911, not saving that child when he could have, and not having started the fires in the first place. He has to take responsibility. And so there's much more here than probable cause. So I'm asking the court to find probable cause in both charges in this case. All right. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. Goofy ass nigga. Well, that was it. Uh, like, share, subscribe. I think I'm gonna do more of those videos. Those like prison shit and like sentencing. Those are pretty lit. Those are stuff I listen, I watch like when I'm tired. No, when I'm not tired, and I'm just in my room just chilling. So I'm gonna do more of those. And we out here. You know what I feel? Disconnected. Ready to pair. All right. My name is Lil Kodak, but you know that already. Right. Skrr, skrr. Sin tall, y'all mean. What? What? What?